common misconception with BC cooling is that fans are loud and the quietest systems are all liquid cooled. In reality, noise is more than just what's making it. What types of fans you use, where you put them, what you put them in, how you control them are all determining factors of how loud your system is. While air cooling might not be as efficient as water cooling thermally, it's much more flexible and accessible. The barrier for entry for a good water cooling system is at least $100 for even the least expensive dual radiator all-in-one liquid coolers, plus additional fans. Fans, on the other hand, are cheap. Air cooling mounts for CPUs are less than even the cheapest all-in-one solutions. But the bottom line is that with the right fans and the right case, you can have yourself one quiet air-cooled system. Leveled with a 1 Hz sin wave, my audio recording equipment registers my PC as minus 35 dB at idle. With the case open, it's minus 25. Keep in mind that six fans, a reference cooler GTX 970, and a 750 watt power supply all running at once. That is quiet. For comparison, my HD PC, which has a Cooler Master side on 120V, all in one liquid cooler, a single fan and a 450 watt power supply, it runs at minus 25 dB with the case on. That's less powerful hardware with less moving parts running louder than my desktop PC. Granted, both my PCs are relatively quiet, but the end result is that even with an all-in-one cooler, a less powerful computer with less parts can still be louder than a full desktop PC with all the bells and whistles. So how do you get a PC quiet? Start with a good case that has thick metal panels and sound dampening foam. My case, the Antec P280, is only $80, has everything I recommend, is great to build in, and is fairly cheap for such a good case. Next is fans. For your case fans, you don't want static pressure optimized fans as they're designed to push air through things and can be kind of loud because of that. Noctua's Redux line of fans are low pressure, fairly inexpensive, and quiet. They make perfect case fans. For your CPU, there are a lot of cooling options. I recommend Cooler Master's Hyper 212 Evo as it's one of the cheapest and best performing air coolers available right now. Pair that with one of Noctua's static pressure fans like the NF-F12 and your CPU will get adequate cooling without making a lot of noise. GPUs and power supplies are available in so many varieties that picking a quiet one is easy if you follow reviews and avoid reference or blower style GPU coolers. Even with a reference design cooler, my GTX 970 stays relatively quiet under moderate to heavy load. Most power supplies aren't very loud to begin with, and a lot of newer ones don't even spin up their fans unless they need to. The way you configure your fans and CPU cooler can have a huge impact on both the efficiency and noise of your cooling system. For the case fans, you want to lean slightly towards positive internal pressure. That means if you have five case fans, you want three configured as intakes and two as exhaust. This ensures good airflow in the case and keeps your exhaust fans from sucking dust through all the minute gaps in your case. Air cooling CPUs is an art. Depending on your components, where they fit in the case, how big the case is, you want to rotate your heat sink so that it gets the most amount of fresh air through it and directs it towards an exhaust fan. Generally having the heat sink oriented horizontally so that the fins are vertical with a fan pushing air up through them is the ideal configuration for CPU air coolers. This way you aren't trying to push the heat in an unnatural direction and you pull the coolest air in the case up through the heat sink. If your motherboard doesn't have enough fan headers or you want more control over your fan speeds, you can get a fan controller for your case fans. The end product will be a well cooled and quiet PC if you follow these basic principles. Anyway, that's been my time. I'm Bush and I still hand on behalf of Pixel Enemy and myself. I'd like to say thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment saying what you appreciated about it. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.